Hello, today I received a package containing the thermal imager that I ordered some time ago. The model is X Infrared P2 Pro plus micro thermal camera for Android smartphones. The package is well packed and protection from protected from damage and arrived here to Macedonia in less than a two weeks. Uh, oh, there is a thermal imager, also known as a thermal camera or infrared camera, is device that captures and visualizes thermal or infrared radiation emitted by objects and surfaces. Let's see what this sturdy and quality made box contains. First, a few words in general about this kind of devices and their use. In previous years, I have some experience with making thermal imagers using Arduino and AMG883 sensor with a resolution of 8x8 dots as well as an MLAX90640 sensor with a resolution of 32 on 24 dots. These resolutions are too small for any serious use and may serve as demonstration devices for educational purposes. I think a minimum usable resolution for practical work should be 120 on 90 dots. And now let's move to the description and testing of this small camera. At first glance the device is solidly made and is incredibly compact, strong and light and it has fully metal body. Its dimensions are 27 on 18 on 9.8 millimeters and weighs only 9 grams. P2 Pro Thermal Camera Imager is a high tech product that supports Android 9.0, iOS, iOS 13.0, iPhone 11 and above. Infrared resolution of this camera is 2 256 on 192. Uh, dots uh, totally 49,000 pixels and fast frame rate of 25 Hz. Uh, just to mention that many manufacturers use a chip marketing trick showing in the characteristic of the resolution of the display on which the infrared image is displayed instead of the resolution of the infrared camera sensor itself. As I mentioned before, this camera has option for observing of microscopic details uh, with this magnetic macro lens. The temperature range that can be measured is from minus 20 degrees Celsius to 600 degrees Celsius and the accuracy is plus minus 2%. This device is easy to use uh, with mobile and no need extra battery. It is perfect from home inspections, missing insulations, floor heating, water pipe, facility maintenance, HVAC, troubleshooting, etc. Now let's follow the operation of this camera in real conditions. First of all, in order to put it into operation, we need to download the appropriate software on the smartphone, in this case the P2 Pro application, which, which you can download for free from Google Play. Install. This is P2 Pro application. We start the application and use it. Uh, we need to plug in the device and turn on the OTG function. Now we start the application. Put the camera into the USB and get first image. For example, this is how this cup of hot water looks like. Or my hand. Next, I will present you some basic features of the P2 Pro application. First of all, we have more color palettes, 
like Rainbow Free, Red Hot, Hot Iron, Black Hot, Rainbow Rainbow Two, Rainbow One, Iron Red, and White Hot. Uh, then, as very useful, I will list the option to display a real plus thermal image that I will use later to display a thermal image of several different objects in order to not use two cameras. This is that option. Real image and thermal image of the object. Next, we have uh, we need to put point on which we can measure temperature. the points with minimum and maximum temperature are displayed. Minimum and maximum temperature. Then a uh, rectangular surface on which the maximum and minimum temperature will be also measured. And temperature scale. the following uh, we will look at uh, several interesting examples of objects analyzed through thermal imaging. The following is a video with a thermal analysis of several living objects from the outside. The recording was made specifically with the X-Infrared P2 Pro camera connected to a smartphone with the picture-in-picture -picture options for greater uh, visibility. This is the front door to my heated workshop and the red areas around the door uh, where the most heat is emitted to the outside. This is a window from the same room open at the top and where most of the hot air uh, escapes. And uh, this is a view of the neighborhood house in which the room on the first floor is heated. This camera is extremely useful in case of servicing electronic devices. These high resolution images provide a comprehensive view of the thermal patterns within electronic components, making it easier to identify anomalies, hotspots and, potent and potential failure points. Namely, most often the defective component in an electronic device has extremely high temperature. Poor component with PCB contact can also be easily detected as a higher temperature is generated here. Accurate temperature measurements are crucial for diagnosing overheating issues, optimizing device efficiency and preventing premature failures. Now we will do a thermal analysis of this audio power amplifier. This is the right channel and left channel. Uh, these are driver transistors mounted on the head sinks and we will measure temperature of these heat head sinks. The temperature is about 45.8 degrees on the right channel and also 45. 3.5 on the right channel, on the left channel. Here is a small Zener diode which dissipate, dissipate more temperature and the temperature is about 50 degrees on the right channel. Now we will go, go on the same diode on the left channel 
and temperature of this diode is about 43 degrees. These are two power resistors for both channels and they have uh, the same temperature, about 74.5 degree. Also this is switching mode power supply with temperature of 65 degree. With this short analysis it can be concluded that the amplifier functions completely, completely normally and there are no any anomalies. Inclusion of a magnetic macro lens unlocks the ability to examine even the thinnest of details down to 0.25 mm electronic components. Now let's take a closer look at the thermal characteristic of the components of this development board without and with magnetic macro lens. This is the CPU and chipset. Now we can measure the temperature of the CPU and chipset with macro lens. I will, will use react angle option so that CPU temperature is 55, about 54 degrees. Next on the chipset, 43 degrees. And we can measure the temperature of this LED diode, 41.8 degrees. can measure the temperature of all these small components. Next ESP32 microcontroller. macro lens In the following let's look at some more interesting examples of thermal analysis in this socket, uh, the heater is connected, which consumes a lot, and you can clearly see which part is heated. In the same way, we can detect weak connections in the electrical installations. Also, the cable is, has higher temperature. In this area, under the wall, there is a water pipe that carries hot water from the boiler. This camera uses 
Tiny One X core so it can be connected even on a Windows PC with certain software that supports this core. Here's what is what it looks like in one of those programs. And now a short conclusion, first of all let me mention again that all thermal images and video materials in this project were made with the X-Infrared P2 Pro camera. This is an incredible useful, lightweight, solid and miniature cell phone accessory that I think should it own anyone who does any kind of appliance service, construction, heating and cooling, automotive, electronics, designing and construction, science, etc. I previously had a handheld standalone thermal camera with a resolution of 120 on 90 pixel, uh, and I have no words to de describe to describe how to describe you how much more practical is this new camera for me. Also, a big advantage is the huge screen of the smartphone compared to the small display of the handheld device. Of course, the quality of the thermal image is incomparable, but for a detailed description of all the advantages, advantages and disadvantages of these devices in one of the following videos. And finally, let me tell you that if you are interested in purchase, purchasing the X-Infrared P2 Pro thermal camera, you can buy it from the official seller with a 10% discount on the links provided below this text.